This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to really make an improvement to the shop crane by adding this 8 ton air hydraulic long ram for the jack. Instead of hand pumping this thing, seems like endlessly, we'll be able to lift it up using air power. Let's open the box up and see what we've got. So we've got it unpackaged. It's very well protected with styrofoam and bubble wrap. And again, it's the eight ton air hydraulic long ram for the jack. And let's stand it up and see what we got. All right, I'm gonna take it out of the box, box now and put it on this bench. So here it is. The air hydraulic, this is the air hydraulic pump. Here's the hydraulic tubing to it. It's got a nice uh, universal slip joint. This is the U or the yoke type connection to the base of the, of, the, uh, of the engine hoist. And then this is where it fits on the top. It has a backup handle to pump it as well. It fits just like that. And it has a keyed tube here that you can work on on this knob or this this lever to open it which will let it go down close it when you want to pump it up so you can see that in here so it fits when you take this apart it already has a nice uh, air connection or an air fitting and I checked it with this 14 millimeter wrench it's nice and tight that was unexpected and nice. And it has a little detent here to put to lock your uh, locking arm in when you want to just leave this thing running, which is nice. And this is the hydraulic air pump. Everything is completely assembled. We'll have to bleed the oil here in a minute to get it ready, and that'll be our next step. So I've, I've tightened the bleed valve or the release lever here, and we're going to cycle this up and down a few times. It's in a vise, so we can have it vertically oriented. So we'll cycle it up a little bit, and then we'll release this. It should come down. Okay, now we'll tighten it back up and raise it back up. This is going to be so much easier with air power. We'll do this a few more times off camera. The next step is to purge the air. And the way you do it with the rubber fill plug is you take the screwdriver and just make a little gap for it. Close this and then open it one full turn. And then rapidly pump it six or eight times. When you've done that, you can check the oil level, which I did with this little pipe cleaner. I took this plug off with a hook, put this down in there and you can see clearly the level of it and I just put the plug back in. So it's purged and should be good to go. Let's run it with some air now. Let me let me shut it off, close the, the, the valve here, the return valve. And this will accept air pressure 100 to 120. I have it at 120. And let's run it through its loops. Let's let's see how it how it does. We're going to I'm going to turn it on, clamp it, and watch it go up. Here we go. We're 
working well. It's rising very nicely, smoothly. We'll do this again when we have it installed on the crane. All right, that's a good start. Now we'll just take this, loosen it. And again, this, this has a nice rubber gripper handle, which is comfortable. Because there's no weight on it, we'll, we'll put a little weight on it. And it's a little cold here today, so that. Next thing to do is to take the old ram off of the existing crane and replace it with this new one. Let's do that now. You can see we're replacing like with like. The existing ram is an eight ton capacity long ram jack. And what we're replacing it with is an eight ton air hydraulic long ram jack. So it'll be perfect. I've loosened the nuts on these retaining bolts, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna try to just take the weight off this and see if this will come out. I may need a wrench. Okay, we're gonna support the frame. Out this comes, we'll lift that. We'll take this lower bolt out too. And here comes the ram. All right, we're gonna put the new ram on. I'm gonna lift up the end of the jack. Here's a bolt. And we'll lower this down. We'll probably have to lift this up to let that fit in, which we'll do with some air here in just a minute. All right, we closed the valve. Now we'll fire it up. There we are. That's really a drop-in replacement, pretty easy, very straightforward. So much easier than hand pumping this thing, it's unbelievable. We've raised the jack to its maximum uh, point, and there is a little warning here if you see a red line here you need to stop, but this is where it stopped. We're going to release it, let it come down, and there she comes, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to make a little bracket for the handle and also for the airline and that I think will make things a lot a lot nicer here for us and again super easy drop-in fit it's fantastic so thank you very much for watching this is adventures with dr. Joe please subscribe please click like and comments are always welcome as a matter of fact, the comments are great because they often lead me to something new to consider and, uh, and, a, and, and a video presentation. So, as always, stay safe.